Oh, by far my dad. Uh, he played college ball at Lewis Clark State College, and then he ended up getting in a serious accident that affected his life tremendously. And he's supposed to be paralyzed from the neck down, but he's never gave up, and he's been a fighter. So I just gotta say that he's probably my biggest influence. Just never give up. Biggest influence is probably my dad. Um, he was the one that, uh, in hard times in baseball, kind of kept me going. And uh, there, when I was little, um, there's some thought about like this baseball gonna be like my future sport, and uh, he just told me to stick it out and good things will happen, and of course they did. So my dad had to be my biggest influence there. A lot of people contributed to that. I'd have to say, uh, you know, my grandpa, my dad, uh, even my grandma. You know, as a little kid playing, and uh, probably my uncle would I guess would stand out the most. Just seeing him play all the time. I'd say my dad. Definitely my dad. Definitely my dad. Um, hands down. Uh, besides my dad, um, I'd have to go with my favorite player is Tory Hunter. He's been uh, kind of been my idol since I can probably 10 or 11 years old. So uh, watching him and seeing his success has kind of pushed me to uh, kind of be like him, I guess. Baseball wise, I have to say Derek Jeter for sure. He's a uh, he's a leader both on and off the field. He goes about the game the right way. Derek Jeter. Um, I got a chance to meet him when I was little, and from that day on, I mean, I wanted to be like number two for the Yankees. I have to go with Derek Jeter. Just the way he plays the game and the way he respects the game. He's always like working his hardest. Everyone looks up to him. Like he's the captain of the Yankees. He's like the guy who everyone looks at as like the dude at shortstop. And me being a shortstop, he's just kind of the guy I look up to. Greg Maddox. Just the way he pitches. You know, just spotting up. You know, throwing two seams on the outside corner, just making people look stupid. I don't know. I just love watching him pitch. Oh, okay. By far is uh, my my coach when I was gosh, from 10, 10 years old to fourteen years old. I had a coach named Steve Rivera, and uh, Steve uh, Steve used <laughs> Steve could tell some stories, and we used to sit down in the dugout for you know fifteen minutes or so every day, and he would just talk and talk and. Uh, that's, that's where I learned how to play the game. I mean, I had a good friend who got drafted and played for Boston. He's been kind of my mentor growing up. Uh, John Otnis, he runs some athletic stuff at UW now, but he, he's definitely, uh, he kind of led me step by step through this process. Probably my high school coach, Brian Bowles, and uh, club coach, Scott Davison. You know, they taught me a lot about how to pitch, and they've been at the big level, so they know what they're talking about, too.